How's it going guys? Today we'll be taking a look at my top 3 most used Microsoft Power Toys utility for maximum productivity on Windows 10. If you have not heard of Microsoft Power Toys, it is an amazing freeware system utility tool designed for power users developed by Microsoft. Hopefully this will complement your current workflow for maximum productivity. Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro related content and tech. If any of these picks your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as you may learn a thing or two from these videos. Here are all of the topics that we'll be discussing today. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's dive right in. If you're like me, a Windows 10 person who spends a lot of time in front of the computer and you're always out to discovering more productivity hacks to improve your workflow, then here is a must-have productivity tool called Power Toys which packs a punch of productivity tool that could possibly improve your efficiency when working. This app is set out to improve your productivity to the next level and here are my top 3 most used tools from Power Toys. Here is a link to download Microsoft Power Toys and I will also leave some links in the description box below in case you have any troubles installing them. Once installed, launch Power Toys and you should be greeted with a couple of tools. Starting from number 3, Keyboard Manager that allows you to remap keys on your keyboard. You are also able to redefine any key and even create new shortcuts from different combination of key presses. This could come in handy based on your everyday task. Instead of pressing several buttons, you can map it into a single key press. From the option settings, you can even assign specific key assignment based on individual applications if that is what you are looking for. Now let me bring you right into the app and simulate creating a new key mapping. Head on to Keyboard Manager, Remap Keys, press on the plus sign, hit Type on the left hand side to remap a specific key that you are going to press. Let's just say F6 that we normally don't use. And on the Map to section, hit Select and input the combination keystrokes that you wish to be pressed. Here, they only allow up to 3 keys maximum. Let's go with the very basic Ctrl plus key C, which is simply the copy function. Hit OK and OK one more time. A pop-up will remind you that you will not be able to use the F6 original key assignment. Now continue anyways. And that's it. Now pressing F6 is the same as pressing Ctrl and the letter C. You could also revert F7 to press Ctrl plus V key, which is to paste. Moving on to number 2, which is Power Toy Run. If you have been using an iPhone or a Mac, you would have heard about Spotlight Search, and this tool does exactly that. Pressing Alt and Spacebar calls out a Spotlight Search feature, which is a game changer when looking for files with a specific name, or even calling out apps like Spotify, Chrome, Games, or any other applications without the need of hovering your cursor to find it manually and clicking on it. Of course, the Windows default search engine would do the job, but this is somewhat more accurate when searching for files. For example, to control some LEDs from my motherboard, there is an app called ASR RGB LED. What a weird and long name, right? Knowing that I rarely use this app and all I could remember is RGB LED or something related to that keyword. So here using Power Toy Run, I'm able to get the correct application to launch as compared to searching it on Windows Search where it returns empty. I think the search engine in Power Toy Run uses a different algorithm keyword search which is way more functional in my opinion. And for my favourite productivity tool from Power Toys is Fancy Zone, which is a window manager utility for arranging and snapping windows into efficient layouts to improve the speed of your workflow. Fancy Zones allows the user to define a set of window locations for a desktop that are direct targets for windows. When the users drag a window into a zone, the window is resized and repositioned to fill that zone. Hence, you're able to customize your own functional work zones. Windows 10 comes built in with a simple snapping feature which is only limited up to two applications side by side or full screen mode. You hit Windows plus any arrow keys depending on where you want to snap the windows and they will automatically fall into split screen mode. But here on Fancy Zones, you get to create as many grids as you like based on your workflow. Here I'm using my LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor that has more screen estate horizontally. If you're interested to know more about the term ultra wide, I've made a series of video talking about the LG 29WK600 ultra wide monitor. I'll leave a drop down card right here for you to check it out later. From Fancy Zone, there is a column template that enables you to snap three window size applications. By default, to snap an application onto the grid, grab the window by the top, hold shift and the grid will appear. Simply drag and drop it into the grid to have it placed there. If you want a window to fit more than one grid, simply grab the window while holding both control and shift when hovering around the zones. Once the number of zones are highlighted, the window will automatically snap into place. What's good about these work zones is that you are able to customize your own based on your preference. It's 100% customizable, you can even add a ton of grids. For my current workflow, I like to have what's important in the middle of the screen with slightly more screen space to keep me focused on what's important. And I leave my references on the left and right. 
in case you still want to use the default Windows snapping key, you have the option to continue using the default Windows plus arrow keys to have it in Windows default split screen mode or have it to override it into your customized work zones. Now pressing Windows plus arrow keys will then fit into the zones you created, which is pretty cool as well. There are a ton of settings for you to play around, so be sure to check out all the settings while you build your own working space that best suits you. There are more tools that come in the Microsoft Power Toys Utility Manager. Be sure to check out Kevin's video where he dives in details about everything to know about the Microsoft's Power Toy app. I will leave a link in the description box below for you to check it out later. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Hope you all find this insightful. This app is free, gets updated regularly, and it certainly improved my productivity workflow for the past couple of months. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Like the video if you actually enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the post notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. As always, I will see you all very, very soon. Stay safe, peace out, and bye-bye.